Hello everybody, I'm Sammy from Microbad.net and today I'm going to show you a very basic game hacking tutorial on fuzzy search or unknown initial value searches, okay? Now, these are very important because not always when you're going to try and hack a game on PC, on Android, wherever there are memory editors on iOS, you're not always going to know the actual value that you're looking for. And that is essentially what a fuzzy search does. It looks for a value when you don't have a singular clue what the initial value, the starting value actually is. So in many cases, you're going to have, for example, a health bar without any actual health statistics. That is where you would use that. Or you have an XP bar or you have some kind of other progress bars or, stat or maybe a pie chart. So that's where you would use this. Essentially, what you do in any memory editor is you just you start the fuzzy search. I'm going to do it on Android today. Uh, I'm using SB Game Hacker and Game Guardian together to make this a little bit easier. So uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm pretending I don't know the initial money value. Okay, that's kind of cheating, I know, but I need to make a tutorial here and I don't want to take forever. So... Now, at the moment, we have just basically every single value in the game in our memory editor, which is, what, six, 68 million? That's a lot. So we need to narrow that down. In my case, I'm going to decrease the value at first, right? I'm going to decrease it a little bit. I go back into my memory editor, into my SB Game Hacker in this case, and now I can tell the program that the value has now decreased, right? So in, for example, cheat engine, what you would do here is you do the initial value scan and then um, uh, actually the unknown value, un unknown, unknown innovation value, and then you go for unchanged value, increased value, and so on. Like cheat engine even has increased value by, and then you can actually uh, tell the program by how much it has increased. Now this one in particular has only increased, decreased, or unchanged. I'm not sure about Game Guardian, but it doesn't really matter. So this is essentially how that works. So I'll go back into the game, I decrease it again, I go for decreased again, and now we have 3,000 values left. Now to speed this up, I'm going to use Game Guardian to actually uh, increase the value, because if you do the opposite action, it usually goes faster. So I increase it to 500. Uh, okay, whatever. Good, it's at 500 now. So I go back into SB Game Hacker and it is now increased and now we are down to 199. So now I should be able to find the actual value by just decreasing it one more time. Uh, decreased. We have 150 values still. Okay, let's go for unchanged this time. Unchanged. And also what, uh, what the fuzzy um, value thing is, uh, fuzzy value scans can do is uh, just simply changed. If you know something changed, you don't know if it's increased or decreased, uh, that could be useful as well in certain um, situations that are pretty rare, but in certain situations with fluctuating values, that can be very useful as well. Okay, so we're still at 129, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do I'm going to do an increase again with Game Guardian. I'm using two memory editors at once. It's kind of cheating. But, <laughs> funny enough, I'm cheating at cheating. How, how, how did I do that? I am, I'm the master cheater. So it's increased right now. 108. Okay, let's go. I might just fast forward through this. Alright, and we're left with three values, it seems. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna edit those. All of them at once. And we're gonna change them to 999999. There we go, modify. Let's see if it worked. And it absolutely worked. So that is how fuzzy search works. It's actually a very simple concept. It took me a surprisingly long to actually get interested in this kind of search, but it's incredibly useful, especially because a lot of games these days just show you a bar, and all you can really tell is whether it increased or decreased. Now, a very useful thing to use alongside this is the speed hack, obviously, freezing the game, setting the speed in a game to zero. Cheat Engine has a functionality like that. Uh, game Guardian has a functionality like that where you can set the game speed to zero or slow it down as you can see 
as I'm doing right now, or completely freeze it at 0.0 speed hack as well. So what, what that's useful for is obviously uh, you're making sure that the values in the game aren't changing. A lot of times the speed hack will work in, in doing that, in um, disallowing values to change in a game. Uh, sometimes it doesn't work, but it's a very useful technique to know either way. Anyways, guys, that's my fuzzy hack tutorial, my fuzzy game hack tutorial, fuzzy search game hack tutorial. It's a very simple one. It's it's nothing complicated, but a lot of people just don't know what fuzzy means. And yeah, here's the explanation. Hope you guys have fun with this. You can use this in any game that can be hacked using memory editors. See you guys soon on HackerBat.net. If you need some legitimate cheats and you can't find them on Google, just go to our HackerBat landing page google hackerbot go to find legitimate cheats and here you can actually search legitimate websites that post legitimate cheats hacks modern apks and so on instead of trying to find them through google and getting scammed over and over again and getting to these spammy sites with with all just ads upon ads upon ads anyways guys thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time